Hello everyone and welcome to today's video, where we'll be discussing the best soundbars for your TV. If you're tired of the lackluster sound from your TV speakers, then you're in the right place. A soundbar is a simple and convenient way to upgrade your TV audio. And with so many options available in the market, choosing the best one can be a bit overwhelming. That's why we've done the research and put together a list of the top soundbars that offer excellent sound quality, ease of use, and value for your money. Bear in mind, this list of best soundbars is in no particular order. We leave the links to discuss soundbar in the description. You can check them for the latest prices and more information. Starting our list with Samsung HW Q930B. The Q930B is a big change for the company's approach to Dolby Atmos soundbars. Despite being around half the price of Samsung's flagship soundbar, from 2022 the HWQ990B, the HWQ930B, comprises four components, the main soundbar, a subwoofer, and two rear speakers. In fact, it delivers an eye-catching 9.1.4 channel count that's only two channels down on the QD990B class-leading 11.1.4 configurations, making it the best Dolby Atmos soundbar for its price. The HWQ 930 b ticks most soundbar feature boxes, including HEMI pass-through with support for Dolby Vision and ATR 10 Plus ADR, and playback of the Dolby Atmos and DTSX sound formats that represent the best of the film and music worlds. The main soundbar tucks nine channels of sound into its crisp form. It's reasonably compact, and it provides a helpful LED readout on its front edge. The subwoofer isn't particularly pretty, but it doesn't need to be. You can, after all, hide it behind a sofa or under a sideboard without damaging its sound. The Q930B sound is in a different class to that of its two-piece Samsung predecessors. Not least because including good quality rears means its sound is now truly immersive, rather than being locked to the front of your room. In fact, no similarly priced soundbar rival we've heard to date combines such a fulsome surround sound experience with so much raw power. Bass is a little less refined and non-directional, though. And as with all of Samsung's high-end soundbars, the Q930B Movie Mastery doesn't cross over to music. The Q930B is not as powerful, impactful, fully rounded, or capable of filling really big rooms as Samsung Q990B flagship soundbar. But we'd say the compromises are pretty easy to swallow in return for saving $600. The Q930B sounds far more powerful and immersive than you've any right to expect for its cost. At number two, it's Sony HDG700. The Sony HTG700 hits an excellent sweet spot for features, price, and the scale of its sound. It's a soundbar and wireless subwoofer combo, and the soundbar is a good size for TVs of 48 inches and up. Along with Dolby Atmos and DTSX support, the HTG700 features an HDMI eARC port plus a second port for HDMI pass-through and an optical digital input. There are no audio streaming features beyond Bluetooth. The HTG700 is a quietly stylish soundbar system, with a matte gray top surface and a metal front grille punched through with a host of holes. The bar's height of 6.4 cm will keep it clear of all but the most low slung of today's TVs. Sony's soundbar also comes with a wireless subwoofer, a tall slim unit that stands 38.7 cm high. Sony uses its excellent sound processing and acoustic wizardry to create a real wall of sound that stretches way beyond the limits of your TV screen, but with convincing positioning and direction of specific sounds. The system's wireless subwoofer gives it depth in the bass that an all-in-one soundbar can't match on its own, and speech is really clear even in busy action soundtracks. The Sony HTG700 is a fantastic value for a Dolby Atmos soundbar with a separate subwoofer. You can spend more and get much better Atmos immersion, along with more dynamic overall performance, but this budget Sony system ranks as a top value pick. At number three, it's Bose Smart Soundbar 600. The Bose Smart Soundbar 600 is the company's new, more compact, and more affordable Dolby Atmos model. While it's priced around half as much as its larger 900 sibling, the 600 offers up a mostly similar feature set, but has a more limited speaker array. A total of five drivers, including two of firing ones, are used to deliver Dolby Atmos soundtracks allowing the 600 to provide stiff competition to soundbars in the same price range that use virtual Atmos processing. Atmos support is elevated by TrueSpace processing for regular stereo and 5.1 soundtracks, plus music. Wi-Fi, AirPlay 2, Chromecast, and Bluetooth are all on board, and there's also built-in Alexa and Google Assistant voice control support. 
Connection options include HDMI DARC and optical digital. The Soundbar 600 has a basic bar-like form factor and is a sleek and compact design for an all-in-one unit. Build quality is excellent, with a metal mesh grille surrounding the bar's front and sides. Lifting the Soundbar 600 up in your hands, its impressive heft will tell you it's been designed to last. It may be small, but the 600 sounds bigger than one would expect. Overhead Atmos effects extend above the TV screen and well out to the sides, in the way you expect from the best Dolby Atmos soundbars. There's not much bass depth or power, but the sound balance is natural, while imaging with stereo music is surprisingly wide too. The 600 bumps up against some strong budget bar competition, including the Sonos Beam Gen 2. Where it distinguishes itself in the value soundbar realm is in its use of actual up-firing speakers to convey Dolby Atmos effects, as well as its effective true space processing of stereo and 5.1 sources. It's not budget by some standards, but it's superb value even so. At number 4 it's Samsung HL UQ990B. The Samsung HL UQ990B continues the company's tradition of giving its flagship soundbar four physical boxes, but this year the total channel count remains at 16. No matter. By adding new control, balance, and precision to the vast power and channel counts its predecessors have become renowned for, the Q990B creates the most fully rounded and immersive surround sound experience we've ever heard from a Dolby Atmos soundbar. The Q990B sees Samsung finally adding a proper built-in auto calibration system, SpaceFit, to its flagship soundbar. There's an HDMI pass-through system with two HDMI inputs, in addition to the HDMI ER connection to your TV, and it supports 4K HDR video, including HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision. It's also Samsung's first soundbar to support, when used with compatible Samsung TVs, wireless Dolby Atmos streaming. The main soundbar is slender enough to fit under most TVs without obscuring the picture, and the rears will easily fit on a typical bookshelf. The subwoofer is hefty, for sure. But its new acoustic lens makes it look at least a bit cool, while its design make it easier to tuck out of sight under a sofa or sideboard. The Q990B does a peerless job of creating a full-blooded Dolby Atmos soundstage in your living room. Each of its 16 channels of sound is made to count, especially as the new auto calibration system does an excellent job of balancing the channels without any manual input. You feel completely wrapped within a bubble of sound that extends down the sides of your seating position and over and around your head. There's no hiding the fact that the Samsung HLEQ 990B is expensive when you can get decent soundbars for a third of the price. But they don't sound anything like this and can't create anything close to the total envelope of sound to get here. At number 5 it's Sonos Arc. Sonos has managed to cram an entire surround sound solution into its Arc soundbar. It isn't cheap, but if you're already a fan of Sonos, you're going to love the way this soundbar delivers really impressive surround sound drawing on Dolby's latest codex and offering the leading streaming services in its excellent control app. The Arc is expandable and can be paired with the company's wireless speakers for enhanced surround sound and wireless subwoofers for extended bass. Connections are limited to a single HDMI Arc, and there's also the company's TruePlay automatic calibration to tune the sound output to your room. Available in a black or white finish, the Sonos Arc's cylindrical form extends out to match the width of a 55-inch TV. Its array of drivers is configured to bounce sound off the walls and ceiling of your room for maximum immersive effect, and the single HDMI port around the back and app base control keep the design simple. The Sonos Arc's audio capabilities are pretty amazing. Eight elliptical woofers combine to deliver a solid overall bass response, and the tuning balances a nice amount of warmth through the mids with an impressive level of clarity. We didn't feel any need to add a subwoofer, though that's always an option with Sonos. The Arc's three silk dome tweeters deliver particularly crisp highs, and we were particularly taken by its ability to deliver soundscapes that distinguished sound from individual instruments during particular arrangements without feeling disjointed. While pricey, the Arc offers great value owing to its all-in-one design with solid bass and up-firing and side-firing speakers for enhanced immersion with Dolby Atmos soundtracks. You could spend half as much on systems like the Sony HDG700, our top value pick, and get better bass, but the Arc is a superior all-around package and ultimately worth the extra money. If you already own Sonos speakers, it's better value still. And with that, we come to the end of our review. We hope this video helps you to choose the best soundbar for your TV.